Hello there. Today's topic is how trustworthy are you? Right? Not what you think, but the perception that people have of you. How trustworthy are you? My name is Peter Beckham, I'm the village marketer. And as always, talking to you from my little Thai village, way up near the Cambodian border. And this topic of trustworthiness is something I first learned about from a brilliant marketer, came by the name of, um, and it's escaped me right now, Victor Antonio, okay? And the bottom line is this, everybody knows that people don't just buy stuff from you because they like you, right? They buy stuff from you because they like you and they trust you and they respect you. Without that, nothing happens. So I want to share with you four things that you can test yourself on to see how trustworthy you are. Now, I'm not saying you're not trustworthy, but it's the perception of your prospects and the perception of your existing customers is the key. The first thing is show that you are really understanding what's going on in the marketplace, especially in your market niche. Know what the trends are so you can give support, give help, give education. Okay, so know your marketplace, know your product, for goodness sake. That's pretty important as well, right? And combine those together to make sure that when you're talking to people, you actually can add some darn value. Right? Just don't talk product only. Okay, that's ridiculous. Okay, talk about trends in the marketplace for them. Talk about um, a range of things that that maybe the potential customer may find helpful, and it positions you as an authority. Number two, don't lie by omission. Now you and I both know there isn't a single product or service on the market, offline or online, that's perfect, right? They've all got flaws in them, somewhere, somehow, okay? What I don't want you to do is to lie by omission. Be honest. In other words, share the stuff that works, okay? Share the stuff that works. But at the same time, make sure you also share what doesn't work, the limitations it's got. Because if you don't do that, it's going to come back and bite you in the butt. Sure as eggs, all right? So don't lie by our mission. Number three, be direct. Now, I don't mean be rude, but what I do mean is this. Have the intestinal fortitude to accept the fact that customers aren't always right. And you need to say, Mr. Customer or Mr. Prospect, that's not correct, okay? Just don't let them roll over you. You've got to be believe in yourself enough and done your knowledge enough and done your research enough to know what the heck's going on to say, woo, you're wrong. You're way out of kilter. So when you think about that, okay, it's not what you sell. And it's not even how you sell. It's more why you sell. This is what is going to create the trustworthy factors in you. If you just, if you are just whying, selling right to make money, sure as eggs, sooner or later you're going to come undone. Sooner or later people are going to see you for what you really are. Sooner or later you're going to cut some corners just to make some cash because that's all you're interested in, making money. The why you sell has got to be more than making money. Making money is just a means to an end, for goodness sake, right? What's your purpose? What's your mission? What do you really want to achieve? What impact do you want to give on the world? Because that's what your sales results should lead to. If it's just money, I can tell you for sure you're in trouble. You might know it yet, but you're in trouble. Because you will cut corners and you will become dishonest and you will not really become the trustworthy person that you think you are. The fourth one, listen. Pretty obvious, right? Listen. Everyone knows that, and it's simple, but it's darn hard to do. 
And the problem is this. We're talking about trustworthiness, right? The problem is this. The people can, with their brain, even my old brain, can absorb things at about 500 words a minute or more, right? But people can only speak at between 100 and 250 words a minute. So there's a gap between people speaking and your ability to absorb it. And that's why you lose concentration. And that's why you lose focus. And when someone's talking to you, you sort of think, oh, yeah, okay, you look around. Because you've already absorbed it, right? And, you, and you're sick of waiting for the words to come out of his mouth. I mean, think about this. If you've ever been to an auction, auctioneers, they speak really fast, right? But you can understand it, right? You can actually understand it. All the blah, 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 they go on with, you can understand it because your brain has the capacity to absorb at least 500 words a minute. But when people are normally speaking 150 words a minute, no, you lose concentration and you lose you lose focus on them, okay? So you need to learn to slow down. And what you actually really need to do is to have a mindset. And this is critical for you. You need to have a mindset Hey, Edward, Rob, Phil, good to see you, mate. He need to have a mindset that with every person you come in contact with, you can learn something, right? Don't be arrogant. With every person you come in contact with, you, there's something you can learn. If you keep that in your head, that will slow you down because you're looking for new things that you haven't heard about before. And that will make sure that you listen carefully. So there's the four keys, right? Critical keys. Here's what I want you to do now. If you're not sure about your trustworthiness, and I'm not expecting you to admit it, right? Okay. But if you're not if you're not sure about the perception you give to people, first of all, <clears throat> I've got a PDF for you. It's called Listen, Learn, and Lead. Okay. If you're interested, send me a message. Message me, message me, message me, right? L, L, L. Listen, learn, and lead. That'll help you. Secondly, if you feel like this video could help other people, share the darn thing. I would love you to death for doing that, all right? So there you go. Until next time, I hope you found that of value. Please make sure that you do not ever assume that people trust you. You have to earn it. And when you earn it, then you've got to keep it. And that's not easy either, right? There you go. All the best. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.